too many Americans are still struggling, particularly in economically troubled areas with high poverty rates. Helping people find good paying long term work in a high demand field is the best way to ensure that everyone has access to economic advancement. If we invest a little now in a targeted way, not only can we help the people who are still feeling left behind, but we can actually save the government money in the long run by making people self-sufficient. It's important to remember that these investments we make not only have an incredible impact on our economy, but also on people's lives. My amendment adds a deficit neutral reserve fund to accommodate policies and programs that foster economic development and boost job creation in areas with high poverty, unemployment, food insecurity, homelessness, for co homelessness and foreclosure rates, including tribal communities. This could include the establishment of an interagency commission to help coordinate resources and ensure that targeted areas are receiving appropriate support or supporting pilot programs or studies to determine the most effective way to focus resources to assist struggling communities. This amendment could also be used to expand important programs such as the Community Development Block Grants and the Promise Zones Initiative, programs that help people in rural and tribal areas, for example, that have been left behind. Community Development Block Grants help states and localities get the kinds of infrastructure investment, job creation, and poverty elimination that many of our communities desperately need. Community development block grants also help drive economic growth, helping communities leverage funds for essential water and sewer improvement projects, housing needs, forging in innovative partnerships to meet increasing public service needs, and revitalizing their economies. They support local businesses, builders, and contractors, and service providers who improve the neighborhoods where they work and live. They are also a great return on federal investment. Every dollar leverages $3.65 of other public and private sources of capital. I know this firsthand because in 2014, Snohomish County in my district received a $1.5 million grant from the Department of Housing and Urban Development to help local communities recover from a deadly mudslide that devastated the community. And Promise Zones establish partnerships between the federal government, local communities, and businesses to comprehensively address a region's or a neighborhood's needs. These competitively cho chosen Promise Zones are high poverty, urban, rural, and tribal communities where local government, nonprofits, businesses, and community leaders collaborate to make investments that reward hard work and expand opportunity. The federal government partners with these communities to help them secure the resources and flexibility they need to achieve their goals. I urge my colleagues to support this amendment and I'm